Welcome to Microsoft SharePoint 2010, Creating Subsites. In this video, we will create two subsites within our main team site. In order to create subsites, you must have permission to do so. There are different site types. First, you could create a blank site, which contains no default web parts or content and must be completely customized. You could create a collaboration site, such as a team site, or document workspaces, group work sites, or an express team site. A team site is the basic flavor of a SharePoint site. It includes a document library and lists for managing announcements, calendars, tasks, and discussions. You also have content sites, which are document workspaces, blogs, document centers, and Visio process repositories. And there are meeting sites. And these are sites to plan, organize, and capture results for a meeting. We'll be creating two sub-team sites in our main team site for the product development and human resources departments. So let's get started. In this video, we will create two subsites for the new Espresso Yourself Company SharePoint team site. The first subsite will be for the product development department, and then we'll also have a subsite for the human resources department. We want these subsites to show up in the top link bar. So to create a subsite, you first want to be on the site you want to create the subsite within. So for my first subsite, I am on the main team site. So to create the subsite, I'll go to the site actions and I'll click on new site. I have the option at this point to create an express team site or I could click on team site and create that or a basic meeting workspace, blog, and I'm just clicking on the different possibilities over on the right hand side. I will be using a team site, but up at the top you'll see featured items and you'll also see browse all. When I click on browse all, I'll have a list of the different categories of sites I can create. Right now I'm seeing all of the different sites I can create. Over on the left I can go to specific categories, to blank and custom, collaboration, content, meetings, search, and web databases. And I can find my team site in the collaboration category. So I'm going to choose team site and on the right hand side to quickly create it I could just give it a title and give it a URL name or I can go into more options. So I'm going to click on more options where I can also put in the title and the description and the URL name. So for the title, I'm going to call this Product Development. And I'll give it a description as well. Next, I'll give it the URL website address. This should be very easy to remember and short for users to be able to quickly get to this specific site. This will be part of our main site. So I'll give it a quick short name. If I scroll down, I'll see there's the option for permissions. And when you create subsites, as a default, this subsite will have the same permissions as the parent site. I can choose to use unique permissions if I'd like. I can also do that later. I'm going to keep it with the same permissions as the parent site and scroll down a little bit farther and I'll see for navigation, I could put this site as part of the quick launch bar at the parent site. The default is no on that and I'm going to keep it like that. The other option is do I want to show this subsite in the top link bar of the parent site? And yes I do, so I'll keep that there as well. And I'll use the top link bar from the parent site. So I'll click on create. And now I have my own team site, which is a subsite of the main Espresso Yourself Company SharePoint team site. I can see as a default, I have libraries for site pages, shared documents, I have the default lists for calendar and task, 
and I have a discussion board as well. I've got the recycle bin, all site content, and I've got on the page a welcome to the site which I can customize. I've got a link to the shared documents, and I've got a default picture and getting started on the right hand side. If you look at the top, you can see that I've got my main page for the product development subsite, and then I have the description I put in as well. To get back to the main site, to the Espresso Yourself Company main site, I would go up to the Navigate Up button, and I could go back to the Espresso Yourself Coffee. I need to do this in order to create another subsite for human resources. So remembering you want to be on the site level that you want to create a subsite underneath. I can see the product development is on my top link bar. I can click on it to get back into it, but then I can go and navigate up again. So I'm going to go through the same process to go and add another new site under my main site. And I'll choose the team site from here and go down and do a quick one. Once I've typed in the title and put in the URL address, I can click on Create. And now I'll have my Human Resources subsite as well. And it looks exactly like the other one that I just created. By doing a quick team site, I did not have the option to put in a description. But I can add that now. To do that, I'm on the site I want to affect. I'm going to go to Site Actions and Site Settings. And if you notice, I'm still on Human Resources. And I've got many settings I can change in here. I've got my permissions. I've got how I can set up my columns and content types, administration, site actions, and I've got look and feel. So if I click on the title, description, and icon, here I can go and put in a description or change an existing description if I needed to. When I'm done making my changes, I would click on OK. And I can use the breadcrumb trail to go back to the Human Resources home page. And you can see the description now is listed. If I go back to my main site by navigating up and back to the Espresso Yourself Coffee, I'll see that I have a link for product development and for human resources. To delete a subsite, I would go to that subsite. I'm going to go to the Human Resources subsite. And you do need to be careful deleting any subsite. And you must have permissions to do so as well. So I'm going to go to the Site Actions and go down to Site Settings. From here, I'm going to click on Delete the Site. It's going to give me a warning. It's going to tell me what site would be deleted. And I can see it's the HR site here. And it will tell me everything that it will be deleting, including documents and document libraries, lists, website settings, permission levels. Everything on this site will be deleted. I'm going to go ahead and click on Delete. Are you sure you permanently want to do this? Yes, I am, so OK. I can go back to my main site. And notice that the Human Resources link is no longer there. Finally, we're going to go and customize a site and change the theme. So I'm going to do that for the Product Development subsite. So I'll click on that. I'll go to Site Actions and Site Settings. And under Look and Feel, you're going to see Site Theme. So I'll click on that. And I'll be able to look at the different color themes that I have available to me. And also it will show me what the fonts will look like, both the heading fonts and the body fonts. If I find a theme I think I may like, I can scroll down and click on Preview. And it will come up with a preview of my subsite for product development. I'm not too thrilled with this theme, so I'll close this window. And I can go up and choose a different theme. When I find one that I like, I'll go ahead and click on Apply. And now I'll be back in Site Settings for the Product Development subsite. I can go and click on Product Development to get to the home page. And I'll be able to see how it looks at this point. At this point, I may want to edit parts of the page. So I'm on the Product Development subsite, on the home page. 
I'm going to click on the Page tab and click on Edit. I'll have editing tools up at the top, a Format Text tab, and an Insert tab, and I can go and select information and replace it with my own. While I'm still in edit mode, I could replace the picture with a different picture by selecting the picture and going to the Picture Tools Design tab. There's a Change Picture option, and I'll do it from my computer, and I'll just find a quick sample picture, and OK. And then I can save it. I'll probably need to size it. That will come in usually very large. And then I can go and select other areas on the page and make changes. When I'm done, I would click on the Save and Close, and I would be back on the Product Development homepage. And I can see my changes. And that's how you can create, delete, and customize subsites in Microsoft SharePoint 2010.